To determine whether it's worth paying for Jasper AI, I've tested two different prompts to compare the results of ChatGPT and Jasper AI. You can see how both tools differ and decide how to go from there. So let's dive in. So the first thing we'll do is create a blog post. And when I write a blog post using AI, I always ask for it to create an outline. So that's what we'll do first. So this is the command or prompt or whatever you want to call it. And we'll enter this in ChatGPT and Jasper AI. So my goal is to write a blog post discussing the impact of social media influences on the fashion industry. So the post should highlight the benefits and drawbacks of using influences and offer actionable advice for businesses looking to incorporate influencer marketing into the strategy. So we're going to be very clear here. So I want you to create an outline of this blog post or in other words, use headers and subheadings. Also add a short description below each heading. So let's first have a look at ChatGPT. Now let's do Jasper AI. So although ChatGPT was faster, the output is pretty similar, as you can see. So the next step is to let it write the different chapters. So that's how I go about creating these blog posts. So this is going to be my next command. So this is for ChatGPT. Write this part. Number two, benefits of using social media influences in the fashion industry. So this is one of the subheadings in the output they provided. So this is for Jasper AI, write this part, the benefits of using social media influences in fashion industry. So what's the conclusion here? So I won't write the entire blog post, but you get the idea, right? If you just saw these two outputs. So in my opinion, there isn't a big difference between these two tools, ChatGPT and Jasper AI, other than the fact that I find ChatGPT easier to use. So the user interface is more straightforward. And also with ChatGPT, it's easier to reply with a new comment to make some edits to the earlier response. So for example, the comment field of Jasper AI limits you to 50 words while chat GPT um, I'm, I'm not sure what the limit is but it's it's more than 50 words so let's continue with the second example the social media headline so this is my command create a catchy headline for a social media post promoting a new line of athletic wear so this post should be attention grabbing and include the product name which uses innovative fabric technology to keep athletes cool and dry during intense workouts so as you can see this is a very detailed command or prompt um, which is always a good thing to do uh, with these uh, AI tools. So as you can see, both tools generate a very similar response and I can't say there is a clear winner or loser here. And I can keep going with more different examples, but I think you get the point. So in my opinion, chat GPT's entrance to the market on November 30 last year could potentially harm Jasper AI's market position as chat GPT clearly offers similar capabilities for free. However, some people find the guided approach of Jasper AI worth the price tag. 
So for example, here is one review on the Jasper AI company page on Trustpilot saying it is a good alternative to JetGPT. It has a lot of templates and tutorials. If you are a beginner with generative models, this is a great place to start. So for example, Jasper AI offers 50 templates designed to assist you in generating content. So these templates allow you to understand better what's possible with their tool. So one of Jasper AI's templates is the text summarizer template. So the number one in this figure shows you where you have to paste the text you want Jasper to summarize. So the drawback here is that there is a maximum of 800 characters in this field. And remember, characters are not words. So 800 characters are roughly one to 200 words, which is not that much. Like why summarize a text of 200 words? That's basically a summary already. So the number two here allows you to change the tone of voice. The number three, according to Jasper AI, it is best in English, but it supports other languages too. And here you can select a different language. Then number four, here you can change the number of outputs. And remember that you'll pay by the number of words you use inside the Jasper AI. So the more words you use, the more you pay, obviously. And then number five, here you'll see the outputs once you click on the generate button. So how does ChatGPT handle summarizing text? So this screenshot you see here shows you that I pasted a transcript of a YouTube video of more than 2,000 words and asked ChatGPT to summarize it. So within one second, it gave me this output. So in other words, it can handle way more words than Jasper AI. Furthermore, if you want ChatGPT to write it in a different tone of voice, you can give another comment like rewrite it in the writing style of JK Rowling, for example, or whatever style you prefer. So the same goes for giving more variations or changing it to another language. But as previously mentioned, you do have to provide these prompts or comments yourself. So ChatGPT doesn't provide templates for them like Jasper AI. So what's the bottom line in all of this in terms of these templates? So well, for those already experienced with AI tools like ChatGPT and providing prompts, Jasper AI's templates probably feel more restrictive rather than helpful. So for example, once you are in the text summarizing templates of Jasper AI, you can't give it a prompt to generate a blog post or whatever else you want to do. So it only allows you to summarize text, which I find a bit annoying compared to the flexible chat GPT. However, as previously mentioned, there are reviews online of people that do like Jasper AI's templates. So while I personally don't understand this review, since there are dozens of chat GPT tutorials here on YouTube and many people giving chat GPT advice over on LinkedIn, Twitter, or wherever Whatever else you search online, I, I don't really see why you want to use Jasper AI's um, templates and stuff like that. But on the other hand, it's probably a good thing we're not all the same and want different things in life, right? So I'm curious about your perspective on all of this. Do you still choose Jasper AI for generating content or do you going to use Chat GPT like me and many others? So before you go, make sure to watch this video you see here on the screen because I created this mini documentary about the history of of chat GPT and the company behind it. It was a fascinating documentary to create and hopefully you liked the video as much as I love creating it. See you next time. Bye bye.